else now we can do, Tony? I don't know. I left a few of those down below yesterday. I know, but you're nobody's responding. Nobody... Jim! You're home! Oh, Jim! Oh, the smell! Where in God's name have you been? The festival was over on Monday. We have been worried sick. It's your Jim! Answer your mother, Jim. Where were you? I got lost. Huh? Lost? After the festival, I overslept and I, I missed my turn. See a car, Maureen. Jim, I'm confused. Is this something serious? Were you fighting? You'd better not have been partying. Well, he certainly wasn't working. Beggars believe how he's funding it, if that's the case. You couldn't even afford your mother's birthday present last week. Oh, oh Tony, he doesn't look well at all. Were you with the girl, Jim? We don't mind now. Where were you, Jim? Jim, you have to tell us where you were. You can't be gone for six days and, and not tell us what happened. Or... Your mother has been up and down that road all week. Where were you? Up and down the road all week. Just for these asking people where you were and they see you telling them you're missing. Do you know how much they cost? I will tell them that one! Mad? And alone? Jesus, Jim. I didn't think you could even make a cup of tea for yourself. Fair play. This is... Well done, son. Oh, Jim. You are so brave. Jams. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> come in, come in. Come sit down, sit 
down, sit down, sit down. We have some news, exciting news. Huh? I decided to call Echo Ireland. You know how they have segments on, oh, a man from Clare who climbed Everest or Bob from Kildare who ran 10 marathons in as many days. Well, I decided to give them a call and they were so intrigued with your story. They want to run a feature on you. Uh, you can put on your CV, Jim. Stop with the fucking CV for a minute, man, would you? Jim! It's just this is all so like, so what the fuck's going on, ma'am? Like, why have you... I don't want the whole country talking about it. Okay, I just want to, why, why don't we just move on? I'm going to go job hunting today, ma'am. I swear. Well, everybody's already talking about it. At least this way, you'll have your own control over it and you can put oh. it all to bed. That'll suit your son. Hmm? He's very fond of the scratchers, the way he is. <laughs> Dad, I... Uh... Well, if not for your CV, you can put the money into something that you do want. Uh, the, <clears throat> the, the money, the... Yes. We will be compensating you for your time on the programme. Oh, like, uh, like a lot of money? Well, that will depend on what package you decide to choose. If you can show us exactly where you were. You know, show us where you spent the week. You know, show us how you lived. What you survived on. Now, for that type of a feature, along with the interview here, we can give you a figure of 1,000 euro. Jim Doyle managed to stay alive in the Balnabang forest for nearly five days. And having left Forest Beach Festival only hours before, Jim got separated from his group and got lost in the forest. Minutes turned to hours, hours added up to days. Some would lose hope, some would die. But Jim, you just managed to keep staying alive. Can you tell us what happened? Jim, I'm living in this forest for a week. <laughs> I mean, you must have been so confused and scared. So can you trace your mind back to, to how you were actually feeling back then? Yeah, so uh, I was, what did you say? I, I was scary and, and I knew that I'd eventually get find my way out of here um, because uh, if it's a forest in Ireland, so it's only going to be so so big. And that may be, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure with the uh, lack of food, drink and sleep from the festival that you were, uh, you were pretty anxious for it all to end. Yeah. So what did you survive on here? Uh, well, at the start, I was having um, raspberries. Oh, so, sorry, um, sorry, raspberries and bang the bang forest. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. They grow on the the bushes of the the gorse bushes. Blackberries. Yeah, them too. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, and just just blackberries. Hmm. Oh, I'm at. You'd be surprised how much mileage you can get out of them. Them uh, blackberries. <laughs> really. And uh, very surprised you'd be. Okay. So no, yeah, that's that's my story. Okay, excellent. Well done, Jim. That was just it's really a it's really incredible insights. Great. Thanks. Um, so that nice one, man. And um, I hope you got what you wanted. Yeah. So. Oh, no, well, that was just the introduction to... The introduction... Where are we setting up for a second show? Uh, hold on. For a, a, a second. Uh, Jim, you do know we need more than that, don't you? You do know that, yeah? 
Yes, I, because I, we just sprinkled over the story there. That was we want to go much deeper uh, into the story. Uh, cool. So where did you go next? There. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're here with something that you love becomes intertwined. Does it mean that you're the only one with no fear? Is it less to reminisce than wait and try to play it cool? Gooseberries. They're all blackberries. Jim. They're all delicious, is what they are, Shauna. Some of them are poisonous. I. Oh. You have that one. Yeah. So you see, the flora and fauna of this here wood is actually quite rich. I, I could have done a mutton here. Easy. Come on, <laughs> Jim. We haven't seen any food or um. Water source for you to survive an afternoon. Well, that's because that. It's because we, we haven't found the stream yet. Yeah, you see, see, when I when I found that stream, it, what's what's the quote? There's uh, there's no smoke before fire. Smoke without fire. There's no smoke without fire. Yeah, no smoke before fire. Right, so with, out. Yeah, okay. without even so There's no smoke without fire. Yeah. And no river without fish. So once I found the stream, I was... secure that I would have food and drink and uh, leisure. So you caught fish? Oh yeah, amongst other things. Uh. Jim, what I and uh, I suppose the viewers are so confused about is that uh, that you seem to be wandering around in aimless directions. Why did you not just walk straight or uh, better yet? Why did you not walk straight back from where you came from? Because you would have eventually met someone. Well, I thought I was going straight. That's the thing. But I didn't have anyone there to show me the way. And I lean on people too much. I probably depend on technology too much. Do we all do? And when you're in a forest, all alone, it's not a case of just finding your way out. It's a case of finding your way inside your own heart. Adapting to your new surroundings, surviving, living. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was absolutely terrific. Oh, thanks very much. Great. Um, so, are you just giving me a lift to... Oh, sorry. That's all right. There's, there's one more scene left. It's the uh, finale. Uh, we just, we just want to see where you slept for the night, so... Yeah.
there. Just uh, up here? Yeah, just, just there. Man, a cup of tea. Sweet, sweet tea. Oh man, I need it. I want it. I need it, man. Tea, lad, you want some? Oh. Oh, man. Oh. An Irish cup of tea. But you know what? It's not made here at all. No. Do you know where it's made? Rwanda. Or Sri Lanka. Depending on what brand you buy. Obviously, like, it's fucking tea. It's imported, it's always been that way. Silk Road. Let me ask you, how many tea farmers do you know yourself personally? Um... Exactly my point, man. We've brought it in. Centuries now. Teas, coffees, whatever. Well, I understand why they call it Irish coffee, but why do they call it Irish tea? I don't know, man. You call it that. Ask yourself. Not even double pay's worth this shit. What? You're getting double pay? Fucking obviously it's Sunday, isn't it? No one told me, man. I was talking to the boss man last Thursday. He don't mention it this. Well, stop concentrating on where your tea comes from. You have rights, man. Get on to the boss man and bring it up with him. Listen, man, you know there's no coverage or signal around here. Shh. No, I won't shh. This is not fair, man. There's someone out there, man. I won't shh. No. Who the fuck is that, man? Take that fucking tea cosy off you. Who the fuck have you been telling about this place? Yeah, right no there. one, honestly, I swear. Right, come on, the fuck. Let's go, let's go. Dale! <sighs> Brian, hurry up! So this is where you slept every night? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it doesn't really make much of a get double time, too. <laughs> No signal here. Shut up, please, shut up. I'm a good worker. And I've got a strong brain. Oh fuck. What oh, man, what? I left my tea out there. <sighs> yeah, home sweet home. <laughs> uh Brent. Uh, Jim? Jim? Just, what's, uh, what's, what's happening here in this room? The, yeah, the, the, it's obviously the bedroom. <laughs> You're a fucking bitch. Why can't you just be more honest? More honest, and not just with us, but yourself. We wouldn't have cared if you had gone off at a session for an extra few days. You're young, enjoy it. We're going around lying all the time. Your lies will always be exposed. And in this case, your lies ended up exposing her. Look, I'm done talking. Let's just keep moving forward. Not a cup of tea, Dad. Mom? Mom, you stick on the kettle. Fox drop base to Fox drop.
Fox Shot 1 to Fox Shot Base, Evans are right here. Oh. 